Hi everyone, welcome again to Allie's Books and Movies. I'm Megan, and today I have here with me 14 books to show you that I got between Christmas and Boxing Day sales. So the first 11 books that I have here are my exciting uh, ones for Christmas that I got. Uh, the first set of books um, is a series, an entire series that you may be familiar with. It is the Anne of Green Gables series by Ellen Montgomery. This is a box set of the beautiful new editions of the beloved children's series. So here's the first one, uh, Anne of Green Gables. You may know the story already. It is about an orphan child who is adopted by a brother and sister in Prince Edward Island. And she has red hair and it's the bane of her existence, according to her. And she goes through a lot of troubles and just klutzy times and accidents. And it's quite comical, but also very moving and um, just straight from my childhood. And I've never actually owned all of the books before, so this is so exciting for me. I will show you all of the beautiful covers, but I won't um, go into detail about their plots, partly because um, I've never read them before and I don't want to be spoiled, and partly because I don't want this video to go on for six years. So this is book two, Anne of Avonlea, and book three, Anne of the Island. Book four, Anne of Windy Poplars. Book 5, Anne's House of Dreams. Book 6, Anne of Ingleside. Book 7, Rainbow Valley. And lastly, book 8, Rilla of Ingleside. The next book I got, actually the last three books I have for Christmas, are books that I got from MASH. And the first one I have been wanting for such a long time. It has been all over BookTube, and I've wanted to read it ever since. And it is... The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I mean, just look at this cover. It's it's beautiful. I, I normally don't like people on my covers, but but this I, I really do enjoy. I mean, look at like, you know. You've got maps. I love maps inside covers, don't you? I mean, they're so pretty and informative at the same time. This has an embossment, which you can't really see, and there is the spine. I'm so excited. So if you don't know about the story, it is about a girl who is in an arranged marriage and flees from it. And so an assassin and a prince are sent after her. And it's the story is told from all three perspectives, except we don't know which one is the prince and which one is the assassin. How intriguing is that? I just cannot wait to get my hands on this and read it because the second one is coming out uh, next summer, which is also very exciting. So the next book he got me is The Story Life of A.J. Thickery by Gabrielle Zevin. This has also been uh, kind of blowing up on booktube lately with people like uh, Reagan from Peru's Project and Ariel from Ariel Bissett uh, talking about this. Uh, Lindsay Ray uh, also loved this book. She adored it. Um, this is the story of a man who has lost his wife and it is a year later and um, Everything in his life is starting to suffer as a result, like uh, he has a bookstore, as I understand it. This is a book for book lovers, I believe. And I think a child is left on his doorstep one day and changes his life. This just sounds so good and involving, and I cannot wait to read it. And the last book that he got me, which is, again, so, so exciting. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well because it's a shiny cover. So I don't want ref light reflections, but it is... A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I got it. It is so beautiful. It's just the, like the most beautiful cover that I've seen this year, I think. Like, truly, just, just gorgeous. The underside, I haven't looked at. Ooh, it's just basic two tones of gray. So this is a story, I believe it is about a girl following a guy or a guy following a girl across, not time, but it's like and it's not interdimensions either. They are able to travel between places, sort of like Harry Potter and the Aberration, and the only case. not. This like only this, for one example, of my boxes is a um, blowout that I Russia. have stuff that I purchased. So it's just, I have it's really a bunch cool. of books coming um, from I book outlets see how it's Boxing done, Day Sale, and, and I'm just, pretty sure that I'm not done with Chapters Boxing Day Sale either, but these are three of the books that I picked up from it. The first book is At Home on the Range, a cookbook presented by Elizabeth Gilbert. You may know her. She is the author of Eat, Pray, Love, and Committed. And this is a book by her great-grandmother, Margaret Yardley Potter. I am intrigued by this because I love Elizabeth Gilbert and her writings, and um, particularly her writings about food. And so this is a cookbook, and the fact that it's by her great-grandmother means that it's really old. And I love old cookbooks, and I just... 
The insides are cool. This is really cute, actually. And so I got it at the Boxing Day blowout. The spine is lovely, too. And I am just intrigued and can't wait to see what it beholds. The next book, which I am also really excited about because it is on my 2015 uh, reading TBR goal thing, which I will be um, doing in a video coming up very soon, um, is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I have seen this book, like, I haven't seen it actually. I've never seen it before. I've never seen a copy of this book before I went and purchased it, but I had heard the title of The Bell Jar and Sylvia Plath, like, everywhere and not really knowing what it was about ever, but knowing that it was a modern classic, and so I finally found it in chapters one day and turned it over and read the back and was like, why have I not read this yet? It is about a woman who um, is falling into her own insanity. Not a very happy topic, but this is, like, pretty highly revered in terms of modern classics, and I intend to read it this year. Very excited. And the last book, which Matt actually purchased for me at the Boxing Day sale, although this was not on sale because it was not a hardcover, but that's beside the point. He got me Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. This is the author of Since You've Been Gone and Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour. If I'm not mistaken, this is the book that came before those two. And I have not read it yet, and I am so intrigued by it. It is about a girl and her family who have just gotten some very bad news about her father. I'm assuming he's dying or has some sort of really bad illness. I'm not sure. Um, and they go back to their summer cottage um, kind of place where they go on vacation. And she meets up with this guy that she had only seen last when she was 12, and he's gotten five years cuter or something like that. And um, it just looks really good. I love Morgan Matson. I have loved everything I've read by her so far, and this is the last uh, major one that she has done that I have not read yet. And so I am so happy to have this. So that is it for my Christmas and Boxing Day haul uh, so far. Uh, part two is going to be coming up sometime in the next couple of weeks, I would imagine. Thank you so much for watching. Have you read any of the books that I have gotten here? If so, please tell me down below. I would love to discuss. Please like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I shall see you soon with my next video which will either be my December wrap up or my TBR goals for 2015 like I said earlier. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.